A very big welcome, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you who have been here for some time, you'll notice that we've been discussing biology on WOLO, the smart way to learn. We have talked about why we need to study biology. And as a Form 1 student, or a Form 2 or 3 student revising what has happened earlier on, Today we are talking about life processes and living things, notably amoeba and paramecium. Amoeba and paramecium. And we want you to be able to describe the structure of these organisms. And then we'll relate the composition to their functions. And then going on, we shall talk about how they go through the life processes. These are unicellular organisms anyway. How do they excrete? How do they feed? Etc. So we shall go through those two organisms today. And my objective is that you should be able to describe the structure. You should be able to draw the structure and label it. And you should be able to give me the roles of the organelles contained in there. I'll be talking about osmoregulation, I'll be talking about reproduction, conjugation, especially for paramecium, and you ought to give me a very good description of those events. Now, by way of introduction, let us say that the amoeba gets its name, this particular species, Proteus. Now, amoeba coming from a Greek word that means change, and Proteus that means see God. And it has the ability to change its form. This is from the fact that it has what we call pseudopodia, which are common in eukaryotic microbes. Now, these are temporary projections of the cytoplasm, which allows the organism to be mobile and are utilized in acquisition of food. I'm only explaining how amoeba comes by its name and what it's able to do with that structure. Now, the amoeba, as I said, is a unicellular organism. And there are many species. And some of them are, in fact, um, pathogenic. They can cause diseases. However, the particular species that we are talking about, the amoeba proteus, is non-pathogenic. That means not capable of causing disease in any organism. However, because it is feeding on other smaller organisms, that predatory nature of its way of feeding means that it could serve as a host for pathogenic infections. That's a bit of its lifestyle that could be of pathogenic concern. 